Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at Batman Shadow of the Bat by Alan Grant and Norb Breifogel, The Last Arkham. Uh, can't wait to show it to you. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like my content and let's get right into it. Anyway, so here we go. Batman Shadow of the Bat. It feels like it was kind of a special title because um, it was the first new Batman series in a while. I feel like they had Legends of the Dark Knight predated this or whatever, but, you know, Batman's always popular. There's always a demand for Batman. And I think sometimes he is overpublished and oversaturated. But if it's good quality stuff, then bring it on. And I feel like they were more dedicated to making the titles quality at this point in 92. I'm not sure, whatever. But hell, it's got classic talent like Alan Grant and Norm Bray Fogel. Full disclosure, like I didn't mind Norm Bray Fogel, but I feel like um, he didn't blow me away. Um, and I think I, I definitely have a new appreciation for him. I would also like to point out the cover by Brian Stolfries, such an amazing artist. I love his work. I love his pen and ink work. I love his painted covers. He's super talented. His Domino uh, miniseries from Marvel is like beautifully illustrated. Um, he's done a lot of Batman stuff and you you definitely know his work. I love this treatment here too. It kind of echoes what they did with uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight by having this kind of title page. And I love that it's like the sketch version of Stelfreeze's painting. So that's cool just to show off the art and be artistic. I love this credits page. You know, as far as art direction is concerned, I think DC um, uh, definitely uh, nailed a lot of it. So, I guess we haven't gotten to the credits page yet. But anyway, um, like, I already love the Norm Bray Fogel art. I love, like, um, just the classic, uh, beautiful comic book storytelling and, like, this like rich brushwork with the inks is so amazing. And I love seeing this like chain gang <laughs> of the Arkham animates kind of menacing and the perspective on that is so good. And just like, this is some really good, like classic comic book storytelling. Very nice flow to the story telling. I think this art is like super on point. It looks very like classic. Almost like EC horror in a way. That's pretty, uh, no comic code on there. Someone blowing their head off with a shotgun right on panel. Yeah, this is giving me like horror comic for days. But I feel like Batman is kind of one of those characters who definitely lends himself to like different genres. You know, it's like we have the Mike Mignola, um, Brian Augustine, um, Gotham by Gaslight, um, you know, you have Batman in the Old West, you have Batman, I mean, has he been in space? He, they did have that Batman Aliens crossover, which had really gorgeous art. Anyway, I love the aspect of Arkham Asylum. Like, I'm fascinated by the human psyche and the different levels of uh, criminal insanity and just like... You know, a lot of people are, would argue that Batman has the best rogues gallery. And he does have one of the best rogues gallery. But you can't discount, um, like, Spider-Man's rogues gallery. I think they're, like, the top two contenders. Like, Superman has some fun villains. But I feel like it's basically Lex Luthor and then a set of some other, like, silly ones. Like, I love Brainiac. Like, especially the metal version. Very cool Nightwing, when Nightwing was sporting his little ponytail and a slightly more updated version of his uh, Disco Nightwing costume. I guess he went from like Disco Nightwing to band, boy band Nightwing. <laughs> I know, I know, whatever, terrible. I don't really feel that way. Don't get mad at me, guys, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's cool. I always felt like that was freaking iconic. I like, I like when, uh, I feel like that, that's the beauty also of Batman is like, he's open as like such artistic interpretation. Like, you know, Norm Breivogel's version of Batman is so different from Alan Davis or Todd McFarlane or um, Joe Mappero or Brian Bolland, you know, and that 
so iconic and so cool all around, so. And I love, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm a fan of the, the yellow symbol behind it. I don't know why, it's just like, it's a cool aesthetic and it just, I mean, it's bold in a way, it's just like, here I am, rock me like a hurricane. Oh my God, that is so cool. His art really is fun and it has like a lot of great energy for it, to it. It has, like, it's so like classic comic book, commercial comic book, but at the same time, there's a slight like, uh, I don't know, unique indie sensibility to it at the same time. And Norm did pass away a few years ago, so. Um, You should look him up and appreciate his art and enjoy it if you don't aren't aware of it already. But I'm guessing you probably are if you're watching. Anyway, that was the first issue of the the last Arkham Batman Shared of the Vat number one from 1992. Such a good, fun book. Beautiful art. Can't wait to show you more Michael Keaton Batman Returns. No Photoshop there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit like, subscribe to my channel, share my content, and I'll bring you more soon. Thanks.